What is the Fisher information? You start with a random sample. Then you find the likelihood of the random sample. Now we're going to take the log of the likelihood of the random sample. Now we're going to take the derivative. So now we have the derivative of the log of the likelihood of the random sample. Now we're going to square it. So now we have the square of the derivative of the log of the likelihood of the random sample. Now we're going to take the expected value. The expected value of the square of the derivative of the log of the likelihood of the random sample. And that is the Fisher information. So we have a random sample, and then we take the likelihood of the random sample given the parameter. Then we take the log of the likelihood of the random sample given the parameter. Then we take the derivative with respect to the parameter of the log of the likelihood of the data given the parameter. Then we take the square of the derivative of the log of the likelihood of the parameters with respect to the data. And then we take the expected value, and that is the Fisher information. ESDLLR, extra special dollar. Uh, come up with your own mnemonic if you like. The Fisher information is sometimes defined with the second derivative instead of the square of the first derivative. It gives the same answer. And then what does Fisher information mean if you have a flat, wide distribution, the data doesn't say very much about the value of theta. But if you have a sharply curved distribution, it does give you more information. That's what the Fisher information is trying to say. It's trying to say this distribution is sharply curved and steep. 